up guys? My name is Alyssa from AJ Rips and today I'm going to be opening up six of these Walgreens boxes by MJ Holding Company. I think that this video is going to be more of a cautionary tale because I don't think MJ Holdings is doing it right. Basically what I have noticed by watching other people opening up these on YouTube is that they package their modern packs inside of these boxes that are in a cardboard sleeve. So because of that, it's pretty easy to tell if you're gonna have one of those seated packs, whether it's vintage or just older, by either shaking it and definitely by weighing it. So I've actually went ahead and weighed all six of these boxes and they all range around 112 to 114 grams. So I'm thinking that all three of these boxes have sleeved modern booster packs in it and I don't think I'm gonna be getting a vintage pack or even just an older pack in these boxes. Hopefully I'm wrong, but I just wanna warn you guys that this could be a possibility. So do be careful when you're buying these from the store because people might bring a scale or shake them. Definitely be careful if you're buying these off of Macari and eBay. Just be careful, but let's see, hopefully I'm wrong. Actually, I don't even think I need a scissor. These should be pretty easy to just rip open. So like I said, I really think I'm just gonna get three booster packs that are in a cardboard sleeve. As you can see, this one was 113 grams about. So let's see if I get those three sleeved booster packs in here. Yep, and a code card. So what we got here is Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, and Chilling Rain. So what I'm gonna do is open up all of the boxes, see what we get inside, and then I'm gonna open the packs. And what's special about this video today is I'm actually going to be giving away everything that I pull from these packs. So all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, make sure you turn on that notification bell, give this video a like, and leave a comment down below because the comments is how I'm going to be able to pick the winner. I'll be picking a winner in one week from now, so if you wanna enter the giveaway, then go ahead and do all of the engagement things. Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, and Darkness Ablaze. I would be really excited if we got something different, but I just don't think it's going to be happening. This one was the heaviest one that came in at 114.18, so I still think that we're gonna get the same thing. Yep. I don't know why this one was heavier. Maybe it was the code card that was heavier. Or maybe there was extra plastic on it. I don't know. <sighs> I just cleaned in here too. <laughs> all right, so this is the last box. Let's see what's inside. I'm sure we all can guess by now. And this one weighed 112 grams. So it's unfortunate that they make these super simple to figure out what's inside. It really is unfortunate. So just be aware when you're purchasing these if you decide to purchase them. All right, the same packs. So our saving grace would be if we actually get something good out of these packs. So let's open some of them up and see what's inside. Maybe we should just start off with Vivid Voltage. Let's start there. The only way to really keep this fair where you couldn't weigh them would be if they actually took the booster packs out of the sleeves. That would be the only way where these wouldn't be weighable, but they didn't do that, so I really wouldn't recommend buying these unless you're into um, wasting money. Well, just don't buy them from a car or eBay because I feel like there's some shady stuff going on over there. Nuzleaf, Memory Capsule, Electrike, Execute, Eevee, Woobat, Aracuda, a Reverse Metagross, and... Oh, that's actually amazing. We got the Pikachu VMAX. Anything we get in here, it's really just pure luck. It has nothing to do with these boxes actually being any good. Energy. Clefairy. Reverse Drone Rotom. And a Yen Mega. Oh, a Zekrom. Reverse Al Creamy and a Metagross. Reverse Crocodile and a 
a binette. Let me know down below, have you opened these boxes before? What did you think of them? Were they any good? Did you get a vintage pack? I would love to know. I have not been so successful with these, but at the same time, I do buy these on Macari and eBay, and I realize that's just not the way to go with these types of things, especially with these newer boxes specifically. Oh my God, I can't open this. Um, and that's for the obvious reason that you can weigh them, you can shake them. Just be careful out there, guys, because there's a lot of shady stuff going on. Oh, a Galarian Darmanitan. So here are the two hits from Vivid Voltage that's going out to whoever wins the Vivid Voltage portion of this giveaway. So if you want these two cards plus all the other commons and uncommons, then definitely enter the giveaway. Now let's move on to Chilling Rain. Reverse Stenny and, oh, a Cobra Lion. Reverse Kakuna and, oh, a Calyrex VMAX. That's so cool. Reverse Snow Run and a Shaman Hollow. Coming into our last Chilling Rain pack. Let's get that Blaziken or that Galarian Moltres. Oh, I don't know what that means. I forget <laughs> what the code card means for Chilling Rain. Reverse Ladybug and oh my god, we got the Blaziken V Max. That looks awesome. It's not the one we wanted, it's not the top card, but it is beautiful. All right, so we got two pulls with Vivid Voltage and we got two pretty good pulls with Chilling Rain. So this, along with all the other cards from Chilling Rain that I pulled today, will be for giveaway number two. All right, the last six packs, we are going to be opening Darkness Ablaze. So let's rip into it. Rainbow Rose. That's actually insane. All right, let's get more of those rainbows. I'm not upset with that. A non hollow Volcarona. So I'm thinking that the reason why they have a surplus of these packs in sleeves like this is because when you work with a distributor, they kind of want you to buy a bunch of things like blister packs and sleeves and things before you can purchase a bunch of booster boxes from them. I feel like NJ Holdings possibly just has a bunch of these sleeves because they needed to buy it from their distributor so they can get those booster boxes. I mean, I don't know for sure, obviously, but they obviously have a surplus of these cardboard sleeves. So I'm wondering, could that be the reason why could they be trying to get rid of some inventory that they just needed to purchase? Reverse Fletchender and a Muck. All right, three more of these. Oh, Flygon. Okay, this one was already open, interesting. I don't necessarily think that means anything. Oh, okay. It definitely doesn't mean anything. It's just the, the fact we messed up a little bit. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna do the card trick, but here we go. 
It's a habit. And oh, a gala soap pod. Oh my God. I'm definitely, definitely butchering that. I don't know how to say that. Sorry guys. I've only recently got back into Pokemon cards. Last time I collected before this year was when I was 10. So bear with me. Okay, so this is our last Darkness Ablaze pack. We only got one hit, one big hit so far. So I'm assuming this is a big hit because the other two, I'm not assuming, I'm hoping, but the other two sets had two hits. So let's hope that this one has a hit. Here we go, last pack magic. Energy, Shinotic, Ursaring, Rose Tower, Hippopotas, Sentry, Larvesta, Morlul, Toxel, Reverse, Vanillux, and, oh, a Diggers Bee. So here are the hits from the six boxes that we opened from these Walgreens mystery boxes. Let me know down below what you think about these mystery boxes. Don't forget to enter the giveaway if you wanna win these along with the other cards that came from the packs. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.